The premise of Facebook, the social media site, is simple. Bring people together electronically, but sometimes that can add up to trouble, as three people in Washington state discovered. Correspondent Ben Tracy reports. One woman's joyful posting on Facebook of her wedding to Washington County Corrections Officer Alan O'Neill turned out to be another woman's reason to call the police. So she goes to this woman's Facebook page and she sees her husband in wedding attire in front of a wedding cake with this other woman. That was enough for prosecutor Mark Lindquist to charge O'Neill with bigamy. He was simultaneously married to two women. And it was Facebook that helped investigators crack the case. The social media site recommends connections between people it thinks have something in common. In this case, the two women shared Alan O'Neill, a secret they only found out when one of the women saw the other's page online. With Facebook, everybody's a public figure, everybody's a detective, everybody's information is out there. It didn't matter that the husband they shared had two different names. He was Alan Folk to his first wife, who he left but didn't divorce, and Alan O'Neill to the other. That attempt to hide his secret was no match for the power of social media. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles. And joining us now is Jane Velez Mitchell, host of Jane Velez Mitchell on Headline News. Good morning, Jane. Good Great morning. To have you with us. This, this is so weird. What could this guy actually legally be facing? Well, he could face a year in jail, but really what was interesting, the prosecutor said, I'm gonna let him out on bail, because what's the worst thing he can do? Get married a third time? <laughs> well, lovely. Great, great thinking there, prosecutor. Uh, wh when it comes to Facebook in yeah. general, yeah. How many crimes are we finding and uncovering here? Is this common? It's become the best tool of law enforcement. In fact, a lot of police departments are setting up their own Facebook page because people love to snoop on Facebook. And what's really fascinating, this has actually happened before. There was a woman who got married to a man in Italy, and he was going on a lot of business trips. She got suspicious, went on Facebook, followed a couple of links and found out he had a wife in Florida. So. Mm -hmm. In the old days, a traveling salesman could have multiple wives. Bigamy is as old as marriage itself, and they could compartmentalize. Wife here, wife there, not anymore. Facebook has blown it wide open. And uh, I got to say, with Facebook friends like this, who needs enemies? Really? I, I got to be honest. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> sitting, I'm scratching my head about this. Why not just divorce the first wife? It's way too complicated to do all of that. Well, yeah. yeah. He walks out on her three years ago, and then he meets this woman and decides, instead of divorcing wife number one, I'm just going to change my name and marry wife number two. Now, what's interesting is there is a backstory here. In 2010, a year after he walked out on her without divorce, Forcing her, uh, she found out that he was dating this woman, and apparently police were called, according to published reports. So maybe yeah. he was afraid to follow through with the divorce because he's dealing with a volatile wife, number one. So then, therefore, one might assume lying continues as a pattern, maybe with the IRS, uh, banks, etc. Well, yeah, I, there's a lot of reasons why people don't get divorced. Maybe they don't want to pay uh, a spousal support or there's tax consequences, et cetera. But you got to know that wife number two, if she's just finding out about this now, is a pretty PO'd. It's, it's a really interesting story because it boils down to this automatic thing on Facebook where it's people you may know. And they may want to change that to people you may know in the biblical sense because that's what oh, happened okay. here. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I'm glad I don't know in that. Anyway, I'm not well, even I'm pretty familiar with that, uh, that book as well, too, Jane Velez Mitchell. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thanks.